You know, going into this movie, I wasn't really concerned about whether it was going to be good or bad. It was, I was more concerned about, can Aaron Paul pull off a lead man status in a movie? Because, you know, he was really the Heisenberg sidekick. Did he pull it off? Guess we'll find out. Booyah! What's happening, film friends? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Need for Weed. Wait, no, it's the other drug. Need for Speed, that's right. And of course, Need for Speed stars Aaron Paul, and it is based off the video game that probably you guys have played. I know I played it maybe a couple times, but I never knew the stories within it. I always just play my friends. But yes, Need for Speed has fast cars, street racing. That's pretty much it. But the story, of course, revolves around Aaron Paul, who plays this guy named Marshall, Toby Marshall. And basically what happens is, is Toby was brought up in the racing world with his dad. He owns a body shop, but of course times are rough. And then you got Dominic Cooper, I think that's what his name is. He's of course the antagonist, we all know this. Something bad happens. Aaron Paul's character, Toby Marshall, goes to jail, gets out of jail after two years, and of course we have ourselves a revenge story with fast cars. So then Toby Marshall has to get to this race, the secret race to take on his arch nemesis and, well, beat him in high octane excitement. Babe. And what did I think of Need for Speed? I enjoyed it. It was a good time. Good time, you know? The car scenes are pretty intense, you know? They were shot pretty well, the action was shot pretty well. And like I was questioning at the beginning, the real reason I really wanted to see this movie because I love Breaking Bad, just like a lot of you probably did, and I loved Aaron Paul in there. We saw his acting chops, but, you know, he was essentially the sidekick to Heisenberg. Even though sometimes there were episodes, there were many episodes that were very, that very much had Jesse as the main focus. And well done, sir. Yes, he achieved that lead man status. He wasn't Jesse Pinkman at all. He wasn't like that at all. He was like, he had a presence. He had like, okay, this is my movie. I'm gonna be... <laughs> so congratulations, Mr. Aaron Paul. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see him have that lead man presence. I wanted him to achieve that where he could just make the movie his. And it was his movie. Was it a perfect movie? Fuck no. It absolutely wasn't. There is a lot, a lot wrong with it. Yes, there is. I mean, obviously, this is based on a video game, guys. So just logic? Just, just throw it out the window. Because there's no, there's no real logic in this movie. Obviously, you know it's gonna be far-fetched. And, and you know, I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of things that are way too convenient in this movie. Internet works flawlessly anywhere you go. And the dialogue and banter just, 80% of the time doesn't work. Yeah, I had a, yeah, there's a lot of, you know, the side characters, the supporting characters, this little group, which was funny because you had like a Mexican dude, a black dude, and a white dude. <laughs> they wanted to be diverse. And then of course you have this British chick um, who really didn't need to be there at all, but they needed some sexy chick to be in there. But her name's like Emojin Poots or something like that. There's something weird about her. She's a two-face, I guess. I'm gonna quote Seinfeld on this one because sometimes she looks good, a lot of times she doesn't. There's just some angles, and maybe it's the hair with the bangs, and I'm just like, <laughs> wait, oh, you're hot again. <laughs> it's a weird noise I made, but yeah, there's just, nah, but yeah, she just was like, they just needed someone, some chick in there to ride along, and hey, I'm looking pretty, and I'm, oh my god, or I should say, oh my god. But like I said, that the, the racing sequences were, were shot very well. The director did very well shooting that, but he's a head chopper guys, a head chopper. This is kind of like one of my little pet peeves when it comes to films, okay? Head choppers, okay? This is when he shoots people in frame that look like this. In the frame. Like this. Show the top of the head! Yeah, yeah, I'm just, I just kept going, uh, uh, stop, put the camera up, duh. I don't know what it was, and uh, you know, some of the times too, like when those down, that was, those down times, when they were trying to actually have a pretty solid story, which was just a cliche story. I mean, it, it was funny too because probably like halfway through 
the movie because I mean the setup the initial setup was actually a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be one thing yeah that initial setup where you're like okay we gotta achieve good versus evil thing going on here you know you gotta achieve the conflict and that that actually took a lot longer than I thought it was going to but then like probably halfway through the movie I was going the whole movie should have been this I'm not gonna spoil it for you but I just thought okay the whole movie could have been just this you know established everything a little little sooner and then could have just been this and it would have been so much better. I will say, however, there was a couple little twists in there that I wasn't expecting. And I was like, whoa, that came out of nowhere. That was kind of cool. And then, of course, you got your final racing. And, you know, I think the final race, I mean, it, it's not as exciting as some of the previous stuff. But, I mean, it's still a good race. You know, if you like cars, if you like these fast cars, you'll dig it. And, of course, people are going to compare it to Fast and the Furious, which I say... Shut up. First off, you can compare any movie to any other movie, okay? That's just a given, okay? There's been films for almost 100 years, something like that, close, 90, 80 years, whatever it's been. And you can compare any movie to any other movie nowadays, so stop doing that, okay? Just because it has fast cars, don't mean it's like, oh, Fast and Furious ripoff. If anything, it's the other way around because Need for Speed, the video game, came out first. But it really wasn't like it at all. Like, I didn't get, like, a Fast and Furious vibe out of it all. There was Because the new Fast and the Furious are all about heists and shit and, you know, for, well, for, I almost said revenge, this is what this whole fucking movie's about. Let that go because Mr. Aaron Paul is the lead guy and you know what? I think he's a better lead man than Paul Walker and Vin Diesel. I'm just saying, just saying, boy. So if you want to have a good time, go check it out. If you like Aaron Paul, go check it out. See him in the lead man role because he does a good job with it. And if you like fast cars, you like these exciting kind of movies, like I said, there's times where it just really gets kind of like, uh, let's start racing again. But then once it does, you're like, okay, cool. I mean, really, I was into the story, you know, going halfway through, but then I, then I went, like, oh, like the whole movie should have been that. I was just, yeah. I and mean, like I said, the dialogue doesn't really work. The humor, they try a little too hard, you know. They have just, like, the cliche characters in this thing, but that's just the way it is, you know. But overall, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it, it was a good time. Even Michael Keaton, Michael Keaton had a little beetle juice going on with his character, but anyways, let me know if you guys saw it down below in the balls area and what you thought of it. Also hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to my channel if you have not already and also visit filmjunkie.com for your movie news, film reviews, and trailers and all that fun stuff. Okay. Anyways guys, I am David Bell, Film Junkie, and I brought you a film review of Need for Speed. Yeah. Notice I didn't say it. I didn't say the B word, I almost did. Yeah, I'm trying not to, okay? <laughs> Can't stop making, you know, geez, it's a running joke. It's getting old, guys, all right? Bye! <laughs> Got you again. That's right, bitch! <laughs>